Today we are going to tell God. I'm going to tell God. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands. Let me have the Gary first. Give it to me first. And we're going to put it in a gamma. What did he do? Put it in a gamma. What's your room? Hop on here. Kayana to put up. Hallelujah. Hop on here. Kayana to the game. To put up. I didn't want to. Onye si na ya budi ke ya puta no kagile ya. I want you to lift your hand. Here we go. In Second Kings, chapter thirteen, Elisha said to the king of Israel, "Say take a bow." He said to him, "You should do what?" And he said, "You should open the window towards Syria." And he said, "You should shoot." And they shot. And the man of God said to the king, From today you are going to be the instrument that God will use to destroy Syria. We are calling that God today. And he ordered him again to take uh, Aram Bo and he said he should struck it on the floor. That's the scripture, right? And he struck it three times and stopped. Elisha was so angry. See, he could have kept on striking, struck it several times. Until you will defeat Syria to the higher, they will not be able to rise again. And Elijah was very sick. Do you know that that period, the time of Elijah, no one defeated Israel. He stood for them as a prophet. And I'm standing here today. I'm not just a prophet, a pastor. I was ordained in my father's house with a horn. The way that David was ordained in his house. And they asked them a question. Have you chosen him to be a prophet? They said yes. Crowd, men, pastors. Chose him to be a prophet of the nation. They said yes. Prophet of the world. They said. If I'm the one doing it on my own, Father put me to shame. But if you are the one who called me and put this thought in my mind. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 127, say God confirmed the wise with the foolish things of this world. This Gary represents Nigeria and Britain. This is their company. Nigeria, Britain. This Gary represents them. It's their company. A passenger will see all the whole killing. He will not rise up and say, let this divide the nation so that people will have peace. So that if I have my friend in Yoruba land, we live comfortable. If I want to live in Lagos, I will live comfortable. If I want to live in Canada, I will live comfortable. Because of their investment, because he works for Britain and works for America, they keep the. T.Y. Danjuma saw all these killings that is going on. He cannot stand up and speak out. Our, my regret is our so bishops and pastors that own cathedrals. They cannot come out and talk. But today, I want to support this company because I see it as a company that the world kept quiet. United Nation, from today you are in trouble. Amen. Things are going on, people refuse to talk. Killings are going on, we will not talk. I want everybody to stretch forth your hands. What we need is freedom. And if we spoil this investment, my people will really have their freedom. A few years ago, 20, 2009, the Lord said to me, There's no amount of agitation that will give us Biafra. I said, why? He said, the only thing that will give us Biafra is killing. That the Fulanis will come. And they will have one agenda. To kill. I said it here. I put it in the Church Mind magazine. They want to take over the land. They want to kill everybody. But I want to tell them that they will not succeed. What happened in Biafra war was our destiny. I've studied the scripture. And I read a place in the book of Genesis 49. 
From verse 1, Jacob called them the children of Jacob. He now began to give them their blessings and destiny. How their life will be. He said to God, A troop shall come upon you. That was the Biafra war you saw. A troop. People that came to fight us are Britain. Russia. And uh, Egypt. And all the African nations. They come. That's what the scripture says. A troop shall come upon you. But he said, at last, you shall overcome. We are going to overcome now. Amen. The reason why I'm doing this, the Lord said, Biafra is the only hope for Africa. That is the only way Africa can be liberated. That is the only way Africa can be free. And God bless Nam Kalo that have come to open our eyes. We now find out that we have our brothers in Asia. We have found out we have our people every corner even in the gala, we are people. And we are killing ourselves before. Today, I am going to do something. I want somebody to stretch forth their hands. According to the word of God, in Jeremiah chapter 1, Father, this is the place you gave to me. In my dream, before I became a pastor. And you gave it to a reverend father and they called me said I should read Jeremiah chapter 1 a woman of God from Monica called me and said the Lord said you should read Jeremiah chapter 1 Jeremiah chapter 1 verse are you there? just lift your hands I'm going to read for you Jeremiah chapter 1 thank you Jesus thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in this place. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Jeremiah chapter one, verse four. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I found you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctify you. And I will send you to be prophet to nations. But the Lord said to me, Do not. But his, then he said, I am I the Lord. I am Lord God. Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, but you shall go to all, to all, to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces. Afraid of the government and the people that are involved in this matter. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over nations and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down. See, I have this day set you over what? Nations. Not only Nigeria. Nations. 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 Hallelujah, somebody. Over nations and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down. To destroy and to throw down. To build and to Plant. This hour, by the power and authority, this is the company. Investment that make them. If people are dying here, CNN will never bring it out because they the payroll. They give them money every time. All the giant media, government of Nigeria is giving them money to cover the atrocity that is going on here. And every power, whatever that happened, Britain will stand before that in the United Nations to cover it. Today, God of heaven and earth, I present
send this Nigeria and Britain or how Ugaria or Unua the government set forth your hands and pray yes Listen, get Waja. He will have your team like Gary Agari or so. Stand up, Tata. I got Salam in it. Amen. From now, the world will see the info that is going on here. Amen. From this moment, I stop. From now, wait till them Britain and Nigeria and Agari. Amen. They cannot be together again. Amen. Evil that is going on, killings that is going on, that the world can quiet. From today, they will never, they can never keep quiet again. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Nobody can repay it again. From today, the world will see. In the name of Jesus, these are the reason things will be happening here. Churches will never come out and speak, they won't force out, they'll keep it. Look at what happened to this nation. And people, government will come out, they will lie. They have their media to cover them. If you talk, they will come with DSS and EFCC. But today, now the world will see the info that is going on here. And this hour, I want everybody to pray. We can't keep quiet. We can't allow such. If you keep quiet, your generation will suffer it. Because these people are not ready to change. These people are not ready to repent. How can this be? We have a church. People will just keep quiet. If we will be going on. And we will say we will go to church every time we sit down. We are calling the God of the old to come back and do his work. So that we can be free from this mess. Set forth your hands and pray once more. Father God Almighty, we say thank you. Thank you because I know you have answered me. Thank you because you have 